Okay, YouTubers. I won this uh, 1952 Ford 8N tractor changing the fluids. What you're looking at here is the back end of the tractor from underneath. This is where the uh, the pump, the hydraulic pump, resides under this this cover here. And uh, behind that is the the third member or the differential behind it here. And uh, I'm getting ready to change the fluids. I've already done. I'll back up a little further, maybe. You can see there. This is the plug for the uh, the transmission. I've already done that. As you can see, I've taken some solvent and some rags. This was real oily and dirty. I took a scraper, small scraper, scraped everything down. It was on there, probably a sixteenth of an inch thick of gunk. I scraped it all down, got some rags and some solvent, washed it clean, uh, so that my two gallon bucket there, two gallon bucket fits underneath. Uh, when you take that plug out, it's such a big plug, the, uh, this plug right here, you see how big that thing is, a couple inches in diameter. When you take it off of there, the oil really comes flooding out. And there's about five gallons of oil the uh, the transmission itself, there's a plug on it, but the oil goes from here to here to the differential is all one pathway. So the five gallons of oil that you put in it from the top, there's another plug like this on the top where the gear shifter is. You fill it with oil, it's going to flow across here and fill everything, but there's two plugs. There's also another little one. You see that little hex head, square headed one right there. I've read online to take that out and drain it from there also, so I'll do that. Okay. And uh, up forward here, I've done the. Uh, this is the engine plug, it has a square end on it okay and it has about five or six quarts of oil that comes out of there which a two gallon bucket will will handle nicely but when I took this one out on the uh, the transmission there was so much oil came out I had to quickly <laughs> reach up here and put the plug back in stop the oil flow and get another bucket so be prepared with a couple of two gallons. Uh, well, you're going to need, if it's two gallon bucket, like three, three buckets or two and a half gallons, you, you can get away with that. Um, but just be prepared to have enough buckets to handle everything and have your bucket under there. When it does come loose, it's going to come out in a flood and be prepared to put the thing back on it, the plug back in with all that oil gushing out. I just be prepared for that and then uh, so now I don't have a six-point socket and big breaker bar to get these plugs off uh, I do have a uh, big 14 inch crescent but these plugs are in there so hard that I can't break it loose even with a 14 inch crescent It'll spread the jaw, pulling on it so hard it spreads the jaw, and then slips around and rounds the corners off on the head of the drain plug there. Here, rounds the corners off. So, uh, on the, the one on the engine, I ended up having to use a crescent wrench, or a, a pipe wrench, or a monkey wrench, with an extension, with an extension bar over the handle to get it to break loose and I suspect I'm going to have to do that to this one too. I tried yesterday and wasn't having much luck getting that off without an extension handle. So I'll have to get set up. Uh, fell online had a good, if you've got a socket 
that fits that with a with a heavy duty breaker bar and put an extension on the breaker bar he puts a piece of wood under the bottom of the socket on a little jack jacks it up so that it holds the socket in line without everything falling down and then he can get on that breaker bar and pop the thing loose then take the jack and stuff out but again I don't have a socket that big I don't have a breaker bar that big and I really hate to use the crescent or the the pipe wrench because I don't know if you can see it but it does booger the threads or the uh, surface up the teeth gouge into the metal material okay and kind of gouges a little bit which on a classic vehicle like this old tractor I kind of hate to booger things up but I really have no choice at this point I've got a it's been sitting here four months trying to get the fluids changed on this thing getting stuff apart and uh, with the weather and everything so anyway we'll uh, I'll see if I can get that pop loose I've got a a little lid on my can there to keep dirt and stuff from falling in until I get all ready to go I'll slide it under there and pull the lid off once I have that broke loose and then we'll go from there <laughs> 